everyone, welcome all, welcome back to this channel. This is Ayantika, a third year bio major student at Aiza Berhampur. So, you already know that the 5th and 6th round counselling dates are announced. It's on 25th of August and the other one is on 31st of August and everything details will get in the website and we have also uploaded our shorts based on that. In this video, we are going to talk about kya aapko 5th or 6th round mein Aiza milne wale hai ya nahi. Basically, the 5th round prediction. One second, because the last time what we made it went pretty well. So let's take that risk again. And I have prepared a chart for you to show you the like what I predicted, and I'll show that to your screen, like to the screen. I'm also going to talk about a few of the doubts that I have been getting in the uh, recent videos, like in the comment section of the recent videos, like of the reporting dates and a few more about the cultural events and all. So let's begin with the reporting dates. Uh, so the first thing is if you want to know about the reporting dates of any of the particular ISA, then you can go and check their website. It's uploaded there. They will like it's written there key when is the reporting dates and all. But if you are not finding it in any of the website of any of the like in the website of any of the ISA, it simply means that they have not decided it yet because not all the ISAs are going to take the students till the last rounds. Like let's say Pune, they won't take the students till the last round. They will end it by the next round maybe. And uh, like uh, other ISAs like Kolkata Mohali, they also might close it by the next two rounds. But Mm, institutes like Aiza Barhampur, Aiza Tirupati, they will take the students till the last round. So they won't um, declare the reporting dates now only. Okay. So they need time. So if you're not getting uh, the info about the reporting dates and all, it simply means that they have not decided it and they need the time to do it. Because uh, after sixth round, also there may be few more rounds, let's say two more rounds, might be. I am not sure. Uh, after seeing the results of the fifth round, we might predict it. But as of now, I can say that there may be at least one more round after round six. So, because many of the students have started taking, uh, like dropping eyes as a seat. So, the seats are uh, like you will uh, get the seat and the cutoff will decrease. So that will happen. So for that, eyes are bad. And they need a bit more time because they are the institutes who will be taking the students till the last rounds. So in case you want to check, uh, like double check, then go and check the website and that's totally fine. Now let's talk about the round 5 prediction video for which you might be waiting. I don't know. Let's start. So for Aiza Barhampur, generally is predicted around 6700 class. OBC and CL might cross 3650, AC candidates might cross 1450 and EWS candidates might cross 1400 and for AC it might cross 680. The last time I predicted it to be 670 plus and it went till 670. So think whatever you want to. Anyways, let's come to the next part. For ISA Bhopal, general is predicted around uh, 4400. OBC NCL might cross 2700 and AC candidates might cross 2100 and AWS candidates might cross 1100. Now, for Kolkata, general could be around 3500. OBC NCL could be 2200. AC maybe 850 plus and AWS maybe 815 plus. Now, Mohali might close at 4150 for general. For OBC NCL might cross to 800 and for AC might be 1065 plus and 1000 plus for AWS. Now at Pune, general is predicted around at 1700 plus maybe. And for OBC NCL it's 1250 plus, AC it's 650 plus and AWS it's 480 plus. The other one in the Puram should close near 5200 for general, 2900 for OBC and sale, 1300 for SC, 1250 for AWS, and 750 plus for ST. For Tirupati, uh, general is around 6500 plus as per my prediction. OBC and sale might cross 3500, SC 1400 plus, and AWS also 1400 plus, and ST might be 650 plus. So other courses like Bhopal BTEC, uh, Bhopal Economics, Kolkata CDS and Tirupati Economics also have predicted cutoffs which you can see on the chart in your screen. So yeah that is all about what I predicted. Let's see what happens next. But yeah once again I'll say this is a disclaimer that uh, do not hope so much. Take this as a predicted cutoff from a very normal student studying at Iser. So you understand now? At a certain point of time, you might be feeling what I feel, but like after getting the negative comments, if I get some, and at the same time only, I feel sold when I get the positive comments. So now it's up to you. I am not saying you have to trust me. I'm not saying you have to follow my guidelines. It's up to you if you want to and if you don't want to. So 
blaming someone just because i did something you should not right so anyways um not a um, like not a, such a big thing it's okay it's fine uh, let's stay positive and try to keep others positive anyways this was all about the round 5 cut off prediction i hope it helps and i will be the happiest if this goes right now let's come to the last part of the video which is the cultural events update let's begin so uh, since in my last video i said ki it like the sixth round ends on september 2nd which means you people are not going to come here before second september right so which means you are going to miss onam because onam is on 31st of august and whatever be the counseling if there are few more rounds of counseling then also there is no possibility that you are coming here before 1st or 2nd of september right uh, at least not for those people who have not been allotted any seat yet so this year you are going to miss onam as much as i can remember when i came like our batch came 2023 batch came we did not miss onam we were there in that event but 2024 batch people missed onam as much as i can remember i think i'm not wrong so they missed it and i think this year you people are also going to miss it and we had janmashtami which you people already miss and then comes uh, agomuni which is on 7th of september so if the counseling ends on or before 7th of september might be you people will be coming here but uh, i am not so sure about that because uh, now also uh, like none of the isas have closed to their seats so it means ki there will be further rounds of counseling even after round 6 and that might be not before uh, 7th of september so as much as i remember that neither 2023 batch nor 2024 batch missed agomuni but maybe this time but not sure if this doesn't happen and if you are coming here before uh, the event then we will be the happiest anyways whatever we eat we will be the happiest and you too will be but let's see what happens no worries because uh, at least i am going to capture the events and make a shots for you or whatever that be i will try to show you as much as i can but i need a few of your engagement right so let me know if you want to see or not if you don't want to then i don't think that it's necessary to upload it because it will be just for you people who are coming to as a bedhampur or maybe coming to any of the other isas they may might be willing to see what is happening at isa bedhampur also so i like to capture and of course i'll capture but uploading it doesn't means if you people uh, like has no meaning if you people don't have any interest in it it's all about it from my side if you have any further doubts then do let me know in the comment section but i am planning to make one more q and a session because the last time we got a lot of engagement and for a uh, glitch maybe like for a problem i missed one of the question i did not miss i missed to upload it the rest of the questions are uploaded uh, one of the uh, like one of my subscribers question she had almost um, five to six questions maybe and i made a separate video for that but unfortunately i forgot it to attach to the main video and upload it so that was a mistake from my side but i remember that i uh, answered to all of her questions in the dm uh, sorry in the comment section itself so again i will be making a question and answer session because i know many of you will be having few more doubts not only maybe doubts regarding i just maybe other doubts also so i will be making it soon and do respond to that if i get a lot of uh responses then i will make another video based on that q and a session and i remember one of the subscriber who asked me to uh make a q and a session on a monthly basis or a weekly basis uh but i decided to make it like bi monthly okay so it's done ki two months before we made a q and a session and again we are going to make i will post that uh and post something regarding that as soon as possible and if you have any doubts then do let me know in that comment section only so that it's easier for me to reply all of your doubts in a single video itself because replying to all of the comments is not always possible and people might get bored asking me the same question and not getting the replies it's not about only time sometimes even we are checking the comment section it means like it gets missed so Of course time is a problem but at the same time other problems are also there so based on that i have decided ki i will be making this q and a session bi monthly and do let me know all of your questions there itself and so that i can answer you as soon as possible and through a single video itself so that is all about it thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video if you want me to make any more videos uh, then do let me know that also in the comment section because sometimes i do run out of the com- like sorry contains what should i make so Things are for you. Do let me know what I should do sometimes. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye bye.